Clarkfield's primary function is for the quest, come fly with me. It's here you can find the body of Mr. Radical and more importantly, the isotopes on his body uh, used to get the rockets going from the Repcon site. Now, provided you have come here and uh, you have any rad away or rad resistance, it would be very useful. Plus, you need to kill some golden geckos, so bear that in mind. Right, south of the Toxic Dump site, we can find Clark Field and Mr. Radical, or in this case, just referred to as uh, Scavenger. We can have we read of his journal, and you can pick up the isotope for later on. There's no weight, no value to it, so it's very handy if you're in the area. Saves a bit of time walking later on. Now, who is Mr. Radical? He was a, well, we assume scientist, maybe? Well, no, not really. His plans was to dump isotope on himself, so I don't think he was much of a scientist. What uh, what his plan was, he was at Lady Gibson. After finding a radiation suit, uh, he went on a wee bit of an adventure, bought some isotope from Lady Gibson, and uh, wanted to dump it on himself. Now, I am going to play... Oh, I can't play it. I have to read it. Okay. Day one, love the suit, can scavenge anywhere now. Screw the rats, I hereby christen myself Mr. Radical. Get it? Ha. Day four, uh, suit passed, first test with flying yellow colours, overnight visit to the Yucca Mountain. Uh, I'm guessing that was highly irradiated uh, at this stage. Didn't go too deep because something big moving around further down tunnel. Rad level was high, even where I was, and I didn't feel a tickle. Go rad suit. Day five, vomited all morning, didn't splash in suit or I'd be pissed. I must have ate something. So he's, he's obviously suffering from radiation poisoning. Day 9. Exciting. Ran across old woman's scrapyard. That's old lady Gibson. Bought glowing container for measly 50 caps. Heading to Clarkfield to prove suit at higher rad levels. If it holds up, I'm going to pop this jar of goop over me and pour it over. I bet I could swim in this stuff if I had enough of it. Obviously, he met his demise pretty quickly with that one. Uh, I don't. Well, he didn't get the dump it on himself. We're assuming maybe the geckos took him out. Um, or the radiation sickness got to him. There's some stim packs and dirty water next to this pack Brahmin. Now there is another isotope uh, jar, but it is very, very prone. Let's see if I can move the Brahmin. Yeah, it's very prone to being underneath the Brahmin or heck even in the ground. So the only one that you can really reliably get is the one off him. And I would recommend that because you can see that the Brahmin is... Uh, it's not for moving, wonder, can I encourage it to move or break up or, oh, it isn't even moving. Okay, well, that that's that. If you're wondering what this place was as well, it was a old power station and a nuclear storage facility and a few of the vats out here. It, it, it does pump between, you know, one to five rads, depending on which part you are in. I assume that it may have been cut content. You maybe could have went inside and explored because there does seem to be a wee underground area, uh, but you cannot access it, unfortunately. But that's pretty much Clark Field, so enjoy doing the Come Fly With Me quest line, and uh, I will see you all in the next episode. Let me know in the comments section if uh, you are ever able to get that jar of isotope under the pack Brahmin, I would be curious to hear. And uh, yeah, that's it. Hey you, bye bye.